it over to us. Uh, of course, uh, one issue that, that is important to uh, many of us, that is net neutrality has been a major issue. Democrats have been advancing that, did so under President Barack Obama. Now that is being rolled back uh, under uh, President Donald Trump. Joining us right now is FCC Commissioner Min Young Clyburn to talk about that. Uh, glad to have you back on the show. Um, you now have Republicans control of the FCC, uh, and they made it clear net neutrality is going out the window. Yes, uh, one of the things that we could pride ourselves on on the last two and a half or three years is the fact that the Internet was accessible and open. Uh, that you did not have to have a gatekeeper telling you what to do, telling you where to go. That if you wanted to have access, that you didn't have to pay a toll, you didn't have to pay extra, that you were protected. You had rules in place that prevented your internet service provider from arbitrarily blocking you or slowing down your traffic or showing preference. As of noon tomorrow, those protections go away. And I think, particularly in the African American community, we will see ourselves at a disadvantage. So what you're saying is, so let's say, uh, if you look at our black uh, websites, you yes. look at if you have black specific content, that if you're a major company, you can afford to pay more money to basically be in like an HOV lane, if you will, as opposed to uh, being uh, in a sl slower lane. Uh, these uh, companies are saying, well, look, free market should, should determine this. We should be able to charge what we want to uh, when it comes to the internet. So it's not about me getting charged for a larger package. That happens now. It is about me having the same access for the same package that you do. That you don't have, you know, your, my experiences are not slowed down. Say I just wanted to say, okay, I like Roland, I admire him so much, until I want to have my news 2.0. And, but I want to do it differently. I want that to be strictly online. Now, you might have a relationship with a certain internet service provider, and you've got multiple platforms, and you've got a great experience. I'm a little scrappy upstart. I want to go on the street. I want to do, I want to do it differently. But I want my audience to meet me online. I'm using the same internet service provider. Did you have a business relationship? There will be nothing stopping you to have that, keep that coziness, for you, your website, to have a better experience than mine, there's nothing stopping that from happening as of noon tomorrow. Spencer. Um, so in terms of tomorrow, Commissioner Clyburn, t tell uh, the audience what exactly happens tomorrow and then what are the next steps after tomorrow? The FCC votes and they made it's very clear that they will repeal the 2015 open internet rules that provides all the protections that we have in place that keeps it open um, and, and free and accessible for all communities. So when they vote tomorrow, I know immediately there will be filings in the court because too many people, more than 24 million people weighed in online, unheard of any government um, a, a decision or, or, or agency, hearing from over 20 million people, who majority who said, we want this to stay the same way. So you're going to see a battle royale in court. <laughs> Commissioner, uh, as, a, as a lifelong Republican and somebody who grew up in, in rural southern West Virginia, big digital divide out there. I grew up right in the middle of that. Um, what I'm most concerned about is these rules that we we're talking about prior to 2015. Aren't they reducing investment in high-speed networks? Investment, you know, that, that these rural areas really need. What are your ideas for that? There's no credible evidence that that is happening. I have heard that over and over again, but no one can show me a report that has not been, let's just say, uh, there's compensation or a business relationship with someone with the same interest who wants that outcome in that report. You can show me no credible evidence that investment has been depressed. Just the opposite. I can show you evidence that the FCC has helped in terms of um, ensuring that those internet service providers in your communities, we've got a universal service fund that has money flowing to those communities. What is not being told because it's a little wonky is that is at risk because we're moving away from Title II which gives us the strongest legal authority uh, to back this up, to ensure that um, that universal service funding will flow to those communities. Someone is going to challenge us because it, we, they're going to say, you don't have the legal authority to do so. And that is when you're going to see your West Virginia be more disadvantaged uh, uh, in, in, the, uh, in, in this new paradigm that's about to shift. Greg, thank you, Commissioner Clavin, for your work, really. And, and just in, along the same lines, what Rita has brought up, 
39% of these rural areas lack true broadband access. They do. We saw yesterday in Alabama, a lot of that black belt is rural. How will this impact our black folks who don't live in cities? I think that there will be not the right type of incentives flowing. I believe if you have those in large internet service providers that will be able, that are holding the key to the, the internet, they're going to go where the, money's go, uh, where the money is now. You see, you talk about 5G, you've been hearing a lot about 5G, the next generation uh, of technology. That's not going to flow, um, you know, to Morgan, you know, to, to different places. That's not going to flow outside of Selma and outside of Birmingham. That is where uh, this is so troubling because the business case will be less made because we will have less authority, meaning the FCC, uh, to ensure that broadband and able infrastructure uh, is built in those communities. What do you want the audience to do? Final comment. I want them to call their lawmakers, state, federal, or local, continue to speak out. The lucky thing, the fortunate thing about all of this, the FCC does not have the last word. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's Congress. It's Congress, and it's you. Mm -hmm. All right. Con uh, FCC Commissioner Clyburn, we appreciate it. Thanks a lot. I about to say Congressman Clyburn, that's your daddy. That is my uh, daddy. FCC Commissioner Clyburn, thanks a bunch. I appreciate my it. My pleasure. Tell your mama, hey. I will. Good days on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh, my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us. He wants to ignore us. Uncensored. No. Hell no. no. That ain't going to cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out because you got to fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin, weekdays at 7 a.m. on TV One.